Yo, what's up YouTube, it's Sultian, and today I'm going to be showing you the fastest high round strategy guide on the map Firebase Z. So to get right into it, the first thing you're going to want to do before you get into a game is make sure that you have the Ring of Fire Tier 3 upgrade. This is going to be essential for running this strategy. Along with that, I imagine a lot of you already have all the perks upgraded at Tier 3 by now, but just in case, you're going to want to make sure that you have the Speed Call at Tier 3 upgrade. The second upgrade and the third upgrade is going to help you a lot during this strategy. So you're primarily going to be using the rake here for this strategy, however a good secondary weapon that you can use is a stone of 63. I'm going to leave all my attachments in the description just in case you can't find any that you like. However the reason why you're using this is just because you're not really going to be using your second weapon for the strategy itself. However the stone of 63 is going to be insane at taking down the order in the assault waves. And one more thing before you start the strategy, be sure to head into your settings, scroll all the way down to reload behaviour and change this to prioritise reload. This is going to be essential for running this strategy because when you're killing the zombies and they're dropping the grenades, the semtexes, when you go to reload the last thing you want to do is actually decide to swap out your lethal grenades. So this will make it so that you always reload when you press square. Now there's only going to be one door that you have to keep closed for the strategy and that's the door at the back of the weapons lab. I'm going to show you from the other side as well, just so you don't get confused and open it later in your game. Now I'm going to show you one more thing before we get into the strategy, and this is actually going to be a really important note before you're actually able to run it yourself. And what it's going to be is, if you don't know already, you can switch the firing mode on your wonder weapon. So I believe it's up on the D-pad on controller, and B on a keyboard by default. So when you're switching the modes, it's actually a bit clunky, there's a bit of unnecessary delay there. And there's actually going to be a trick that you can do to get rid of the delay completely. So what you're going to do is, you're going to shoot your orb, and you're going to reload at the same time. Press both shoot and reload at the same time. This is going to make it so that you shoot the orb and reload. It's not just going to make you reload, you're going to shoot the orb as well. So from that point, all you need to do is just switch fire mode immediately after you press reload. So to go over it again and try and keep it as simple as possible, shoot and reload at the same time, then just change fire mode either up or triangle will change the fire mode. So finally time to get into the high round strategy, I want to give a quick shout out to You Thirsty Partner and the MC Zombie Slayer. Both of these guys stream on Twitch and these are the original founders of this strategy, so be sure to check them out. As you can see perks wise, these are going to be the main 5 perks that you're going to want in order to run this strategy. The other perks don't really matter too much, and also be sure to grab a cruise missile or a chopper gunner. Just in case you're about to go down, you can pull that out, it's going to take you off the map, and then you're going to have a chance to recover your health, the zombies are all going to run away from you, and you can actually just survive a sticky situation like that. So I'm going to break down the strategy into two situations. The first is when I don't have Ring of Fire, and the second is when you do. So in order to charge up your Ring of Fire, it should only take two orb explosions. Now with the first orb, I like to just explode it straight away, just clear the room out of zombies. The second orb, I like to use it as a chance to reload. So what I'll do is I'll shoot the orb out of my gun, then I'll put a few automatic bullets into it. This is going to reset the timer so the orb doesn't expire. Then from that point, reload, let the zombies all get slowed down by the orb, and as soon as I finish reloading, I explode the orb, that should kill all the zombies in the room and fill up your ring of fire. From that point just run straight over to the barrier, this is going to kill all the zombies that jump through the barrier before they actually get a chance to hit you. And just start raining fire on the entrance of the weapons lab, this is going to just speed up the round so much. Then from that point once it expires, back to normal. Shoot the first orb, explode it straight away, the second orb uses a chance to reload. You're probably going to want to watch the pattern of this strategy a few times just to get the hang of it. But once you get it down it's going to make the rounds go by super quick. So I'm going to talk about two more factors of this strategy. The first is going to be a must know tip, the second one is just going to be a helpful tip. So the first one is going to be when you have Ring of Fire active, and you stood in the corner next to the barrier, do not move your character at all. This is because there's a weird glitch right now where if you move closer to a zombie, like point blank range for a zombie, you're going to get splashback damage from the rake here, and it's going to do 75 damage, doesn't matter if you have armor or you don't have armor. And because the rake here is fully automatic and you're shooting it so fast, you can just reel your health down and pretty much insta-kill yourself off the splashback damage. And the reason why I said when you have Ring of Fire active, because let's say you stood in the corner, a boss zombie comes out, you move slightly to the left or slightly forward just on instinct to get a better view or something like that, you're going to move closer to the boss zombie and you're going to get splashback damage. 
So to combat this, just don't move when you're using Ring of Fire. So I'm going to move on to the next tip now, which is something that I found that helped increase the safety of the strategy. So let's say you've got your Ring of Fire active and you have two or more bosses in the area. I'd actually recommend shooting the orb down, or you can actually do this before you place your Ring of Fire. Shoot the orb, place your Ring of Fire, then explode the orb with the Ring of Fire damage boost. This is going to kill every boss in the area. And this is also going to avoid the situation where you're shooting the zombies at the entrance, but then you've got to turn around and shoot a boss before he hits you. And then whilst you're shooting the boss, the zombies are just going to come pouring through the entrance because they're super sprinters. And it's very hard to manage both of them situations at once. So to shoot an orb down, it's going to clear the zombies out, it's going to clear the bosses out. Now I'm going to move on to the assault waves and how to handle the boss. So if you remember at the start of the video, I said the stone is really good against the boss and I'm about to show you that now. If you don't have the stoner leveled up, or you decide to run a shotgun or something like that, the rear key will work for this, it just won't be as fast. But as you can see with the stoner, I'm just going to position myself where I can shoot him as soon as he spawns, and he's dead, just like that. It's actually ridiculous at taking him down. So finally I'm going to move on to the last part of the video, which is going to be the down recovery. So let's say you take it down in this room, the first thing that you're going to want to do when you go down Start crawling towards the armor stand. Chances are you are at low armor or you've got no armor. And then as soon as you're about to lose that third perk, revive yourself, buy armor, run out the weapons lab, and you want to get the horde up here. If you find it a little bit too risky, you can actually just throw a decoy here, but as you've just seen, the horde up's actually very simple because it's like already made for you. From that point, run to the village. You can just hit like a little ledge boost on this railing here. Run over to the Wonder Phase, throw a decoy down, you have to throw it there. Buy your perks back, run out, run out of the room at the left. You don't want to go up the stairs next to the armor stand, you don't want to go back to where you came from, where the patter punch is. You want to take that Pacific route, from that point, just run in this room. You've made a horde up, so you might as well kill it, right? So kill the horde up, then just start heading back to the strategy. In fact, I almost forgot... You want to buy another self revive, so start running over here, throw a decoy, buy your decoy back, buy your self revive if you used your cruise missile or your chopper gunner, buy one of them back too, and then you go back to the strategy. And that's going to be it from me, so I am actually going to show an extra round of gameplay just to help you all get the pattern of the strategy down. Kind of going back to what I was saying earlier in the video. Also, let us know if you want us to do this more often, just so there's more gameplay for you to study of the strategy itself. I will say too, I'm going to start adding frequently asked questions in the description of these videos. Just because there's times where I'll get multiple comments of the same question. And this feature is just going to give you all a faster response time for your answer. But that's going to be it from me, so if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.